Hi everyone. Right, what I'm going to do is I've got a little box that I'm going to make up. Um, and it's just a chipboard box. Um, so I'm just going to glue on all the edges. Like that, and just make sure we get them in place properly. Like that. You just buy these as they are, and then you make them up. And they're quite easy to do. I'm just going to do like a little box because um, like you, you know I've got these gifts that I'm giving out and that so I do want um, a little gift to give out and I think we'll do it that way and so what better way than to put it in a little gift box And I'm just hot gluing the edges, that'll do, it's fine. Like that, and that should fit over that, like that. Yeah, I'm going to put a edge on that, so I'm not worried about it at all. Um, and I think we will. I'm not sure if I'll paint it. So that's the box done anyway. So what I'm going to do? This is a frame that uh, I want to sit on the top and lift it up. Um, I don't know what the. Don't know what I'm going to do with the button bits. But for now, uh, what I'm going to do with this is. If I can find my... Now, what did I... I'll just go and get my um, ink that I need. Uh, I had some Julie Kim there. Ow! I just banged my blooming head, silly old. <laughs> um, where's my Julie Kim's inks? There we are. This is an embossing ink. It's Judy Kim's. Uh, J-U-D-I-K-I-N-S a rubber stamp embossing ink two fluid ounces I've had it a long time it cost me 320 a long time ago and I'm still using it so you just squeeze it a little bit make sure because it's not been used for a while that's it get the lid bit out um, it's a little bit more uh, loose than the um, you know like the stamp pad thing is so, hopefully, I've got some of the Shabby Chic embossing powder here. I think that's what it was called, Shabby Chic. Um, and it's got glitter in it, so I'm just going to make sure that's got plenty on. Like that. I will put a couple of coats on it. It's got white, brown, uh, it's got white, gold and pink in it. You can start to see it glisten as it melts. I don't think I actually need to do a second coat because that gave it a really good coat. No, I'm not going to bother. That's fine. We'll just put that to one side to dry. Um, all I have to do, basically, is to make sure that I have that over there. Now, I want to protect that picture, so I am going to put a little bit of um, acetate over it if I've got one big enough. 
can do. So I've now got a piece of acetate and I'm just going to cut a square out and pop the acetate. Well, I've got to get rid of the glitter, don't want that on the face section. So I'm going to glue that on there like that first. Oops, take that off. Right. You just have to quickly glue it on. You don't have to you know, do too much. Rub any excess off. And then that's quite dry now. Um, like that. Just glue that frame on and then pop the frame over there. Yeah, I'm just filming. What? What? What's that? Yeah, I don't know how you do it. I've sat in here for over an hour and you come in when I'm filming. I don't know how you do it. I'm sure you listen at the door to see when I'm filming. Yeah, but you, it, it never fails to happen. <laughs> it never fails. And there you go. So that has protected that picture now. Um, and what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to do the outside of the box, the lid. And the rest will be covered in um, some nice... Um, laces and trims I just have to make sure that I've got it the right width so all I do just give, give that a shake you have to make sure you shake that up well so that it um, actually works And then we can go over it again, that doesn't matter. Now, because this has got glitter in it, I generally say if you're using glitter, spray it with hairspray. But with this, because it's an embossing powder, you don't need to. But if you are working with uh, glitter, uh, and to stop it coming off in your hands, you just give it a light coat of hairspray and it holds it in place. I don't really think I'll put any more on than that. I do like that and I, I just want the eye... What I want is this, for that to go over there. That's going to look fantastic. Um, and so what I'm going to do... Because there's more pink on this side than there is that side, I'm going to alternate it. There's more pink there than there is here. And that's just going to give that contrast. So what I need now is to... Um, on the back of the picture, is to add some foam to make that stand away from the now I might do I'll just see what the height of that is 
just like that. <sighs> cool a minute. I might... Yeah, it's not high enough. So what I'm going to do is take that off. And just do it again that way. Like that. Because I want to put some pearls around the edge. And I want them to have something to... Um, let's get this right. We're doing it pink to pink opposite. Hopefully that has set that in the middle like that. And I just think that's going to look really nice when I put the pearls on. So I've got to find the pearls. I hope that's as straight as I can get it anyway. Um, pink pearls or cream? Which ones? Are we going to use the cream? No, we'll use the pink. I need to find my pink. <laughs> I want some little flowers out. Oh, I'm going to put some lace on as well. So, let's have a look. Uh, put those flowers out. Got to find some pink pearl. Where's my pink pearl? use a couple of those bits as well. A bit of spray, that'll do. Um, you know, I don't know what I've done with it. Pink Pearl, where are you? Open. You nana fifi drop drop old paper. That was a silly thing to do, Fifi. Right, let's sort this out. Ugh. I'm looking for my pink pearls. in that box. I don't know what I've done with them. Oh, I've got a box full of pearls somewhere. Fifi, what have you done? Right, I've got those to go on and I've got some pink trim which I want that. I may use some of these bits and pieces. Just get rid of that rubbish. Shall I stick with the... I've got a couple of those as well. What have I done with my pink trim? Me not know. <laughs> I never know when I put anything. I got it! It was hiding under a box. Oh, just the right pink. Beautiful. Beautiful! I keep all my oddments and that. In fact, stay near me because I use you an awful lot. Right, so what I'm going to do is take these pearls. I'm going to get all this back in in a minute. Take the pearls, and what I wanted to do was to have them, if you see, going around the edge. Like that. But do you know what I've just noticed? I don't think my pink pearls are big enough so I may have to use the cream ones that is a shame I wanted the pink I have to use I think that's the four millimeter ones I'm gonna have to use these six millimeter ones in pink in cream let's have a look at this Yes. 
but that's not the effect I wanted. Now, I need to get over that somehow. Can I take that off? No, we're going to have to use them. Uh, unfortunately, it's not the effect I wanted. Um, but never mind. I uh, can live with that. I'll just have to manage it like that. Sorry if you're out of frame then. Um, I'm going to lift that up a bit. Uh, I'm just attaching the creamy ones. I didn't actually want these, but uh, you can't have everything. So I'm now just going to attach these like that. The pink I wanted to stand out. And these are not going to stand out as much as I thought they would, but never mind. I could go over them with the um, ink pens. And that's what I might do to get that colour. So. Shame that really, but never mind. I don't want that to go right under there. Let me just check and see how many we need. Chop it off. Sorry, I hope you're seeing this. It is awkward. Let's put the glue stick in. And pop that down. Perfect fit. See, it is nice. It's come out really nice. But it's just another way and effect you can do. Now, if you don't have this Shabby Chic embossing powder, what you can do with it, you get some pink powder, you get some white powder, and you get some gold powder. And you just put... Um, you want more of the pink and white than you do of the gold. And just mix it together. And if you've got it in the granule one rather than the powder one, even better... Um, uh, and then you'll get the same effect. Yes, that's pretty. I do like that. I don't like the way that's gone under there too much. Just pull that out if I can. A little bit. Yeah, that'll do. <laughs> Not fussed. Nice little box. Um. And then, because I don't want to be um, painting the box, to be honest. Um, and I decided that if I use a little bit of this, you know, it'll just cover it. Because you don't have to, I don't see the point in, no, I think it's going to be fine. It's just a little box to hold a little gift, that's all it is. So I'm going to use that as is. I know lots of you will say, oh, that's lazy. Well, it probably is lazy of me, but the thing is, I, oops. I just want to make a gift box. And I had these little boxes in. That I'm able to do that with. I mean, I can still do a lot more to them. I'm going to decorate the front and that. And it's the top bit that's going to be most important anyway. Besides the gift that's going in it. Like that. So I hope you're seeing this. You've probably missed most of it. <laughs> Sorry if you have. But it's just decorating a little uh, box up, that's all.
Right, I'm just going to put this section on properly, make sure it's nice and straight. You know these new scissors that they, um, I got, the, a replacement of? They came undone yesterday. Couldn't believe it. I was absolutely, uh, don't be doing that to me. Yep, they came undone. The screw came undone. So, unfortunately. Let's just make sure that that is glued. Oops. Like that. Uh, and I've got a little thing to go around the edge. I might, actually, that might do if I put the pink pearl around the edge. Oh, yeah, that might do, mightn't it? Give it that bit of contrast. Well, let's have a go, see if we can do it. Oops, something there needs cutting off. It's got like a burnt bobble bit on that, never mind. Yeah. I just wanted to get that little tone, uh, that little bead in, and that tone of pink. So I'm quite happy with that actually. Yeah. I know a lot of people ask me about the glue guns. That particular glue gun is a Sher Bonder, and you get that in, I think it's Joanne's or Michael's in America. Um, my friend Chris, you all know, she gets me that. Oh, that's got a piece missing out of it, look. She actually sends it over for me. Because uh, I do like the tip for precision work. Right, they've, it's going to go off, so I might come back and do a part two. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> 